Uh, in December, we announced a truly transformational acquisition. We're buying the uh, natural graphite division of Emirates SA, which is a four or five billion euro company uh, based in Paris, public company. And uh, that will not only make us a producer when the deal closes, which is expected to be within two weeks, uh, by the end of this year, we should be the third largest non-Chinese graphite producer in the world. Greg Bowes joins me now. He's the CEO of Northern Graphite Corp, trading on the TSX Venture under the symbol NGC and in the United States under the symbol NGPHF. Greg, welcome. It's a pleasure to be here today. For once, I don't have to ask what the business of the company is because it's apparent by the name. You're a graphite uh, producing company or you're a graphite exploration company at this point? We are just uh, in the transition point between the two. <clears throat> so we have a large development project here in Canada that needs to be financed. So it's an advanced stage project. However, uh, in December, we announced a uh, truly transformational acquisition. We're buying the uh, natural graphite division of Emirates SA, which is a four or five billion euro company uh, based in Paris, public company. And uh, that will not only make us a producer when the deal closes, which is expected to be within two weeks, uh, by the end of this year, we should be the third largest non-Chinese graphite producer in the world. That's impressive. Um yeah, Emirates is, uh, well, huge. They've, uh, they've been the major offtake partner for many graphite and graphene producing companies. So that's, uh, that's incredible. Is that, was that deal announced in November? It was announced on December 2nd. So where is the, uh, where is the project? We are actually buying two mines from Emirates. Uh, one is uh, here in Canada, in Quebec. It's about two two hours north of Montreal. It is the only producing graphite mine in North America. <clears throat> and the second one we are buying is in Namibia. It's currently on care and maintenance. It needs a little bit of work to bring it back into production, um, but it's fully built and operational. So we expect it to be back, in, back online um, by the end of the year. So what did this uh, transaction cost the company? Total cost is about 65 million uh, US, 60 to 65 million US. So we've um, um, arranged financing through the Sprott Group, who you're probably familiar with. So we are selling them a, um, a royalty, a stream, and they're providing debt financing. Uh, that all totals about 45 million. And uh, we're raising about 15 million in equity, and they're the lead uh, uh, lead advisor on that. They are also participating in the equity, as is uh, Emirates. So the financing package is in place for for that uh, for the transaction. Fantastic! And is there a construction phase required for both of these projects? Not the one in Quebec. As I said, it's fully operational, so we'll go from a development stage company to a producer. Uh, that's very important for us because obviously it gives us customers, it gives us market share, it gives us transparency on pricing and what, what is a somewhat opaque market, if you will. Uh, the second project in Namibia, it's going to cost 10 or 12 million uh, US to... Um, get that project back online. And that's part of our 60, 65 million raise is uh, the funds to do that. And is Emirates going to be the buyer of your graphite products? No, we will be selling some to them, but they will not be the major buyer. They have some, uh, let's say, manufacturing divisions that use graphite and they will be buying a bit from us, but um, they will not be the major uh, purchaser. What sort of uh, value of graphite will you be producing each year initially? Off the top of my head, um, Lactazeal mine in terms of annual revenues would be up in the 25 to 30 million a year uh, U.S. And uh, Namibia would be more like uh, 45 million. So, you know, we're going to be up in the 70 to 80 million dollars a year uh range in terms of revenue. Uh, but, you know, a, a 
another big part of the story is behind that production, we have two very big development projects. One is our own Bissett Creek project here in Ontario, which is a feasibility level stage project. And um, it's been um, estimated by an independent party, Benchmark Minerals, that it is the highest margin graphite project in the world. And it's located in the southern part of Canada, close to infrastructure. So that will be next, financing and building that. And another big feature of the Namibian acquisition is that um, that operation, uh, 25 to 30,000 tons a year, is based on the weathered resource. There's a very large hard rock resource underneath it, which could support 100,000 tons a year plus. So we are going to be doing our feasibility studies on that. Um, both those projects um, would be much bigger than the two we have now. And the idea is obviously uh, the growth in uh, EV and battery markets and the demand that's going to come with it. They're going to need big mines. Uh, we are going to have three of them in politically stable jurisdictions close to infrastructure. And, uh, you know, again, that whole Russia-Ukraine thing just highlights how critical local, sustainable, secure uh, supply chains are. And uh, these projects all fit right into that. Of the 75, 80 million of your initial production from these two new acquisitions, what is your all-in cost of production? It's probably going to be in the seven to eight hundred dollars per ton range and the revenue would be up in the uh, 1300 to 1500 ton uh, dollars per ton range so uh, a very good margin on both projects wow that's amazing you know the first time i heard about northern graphite i think it was like 2014 is that accurate 13 maybe um, i remember it being one of the first graphite companies to be a real high flyer on the stock exchange we were the original new graphite company, and it goes back before that to 2010. And uh, we did it because of the, um, the uh, outlook for EVs and battery uh, minerals. We were obviously way, way too early for that, but we were spectacularly successful for a different reason. And that was the whole commodity super cycle growth in China all the steel-related commodities, uh, the prices went nuts, including graphite. So graphite went from $700 a ton to $3,000 a ton. And our share price went from $0.15 cents to over $3. So we had a lot of very happy investors in the early days. But uh, unfortunately, graphite's time in the sun did not last very long because the Chinese economy slowed down. And uh, all of these steel-related commodities, uh, the prices fell out of bed. So it's been a lot of down-to-sideways action since then, waiting for, uh, you know, the promise of EVs and batteries to stimulate demand and create higher prices. And we've seen that in spades in lithium. And uh, I think graphite is poised to be next. So it's a good time to be, bu to be buying graphite assets. That's amazing. Okay, well, Greg, we're going to leave it there for now. That's a great update. It's, uh, it's heartwarming to hear a Canadian success story in the graphic mining space, graphite mining space. Uh, we'll come back to you in due course and have you back. Thanks for your time today. You're very welcome. You bet. Bye for now.